first off, I got to say, this is crazy. It just don't end with Charleston White, yo. He just gets worse and worse. This one is probably, hey, this is the second to worse than what he said with the gun, holding up the gun, yo. He's talking to China Mac, all right? China Mac says something to him. I guess they're having a back and forth. And he just straights up addresses China Mac and comes out and says he hates Asian people. And he's saying, I need somebody to basically off an Asian person. And he's directing it towards New York. Okay? This is crazy. This is crazy because that's where China Mac's at. It's crazy. First John chapter 4, verse 18. There is no fear in love. But perfect love casteth out fear because fear hath torment and he that Fear is not made perfect in love. I told you, you're talking hard things, saying where you're scared, yo. And the funny thing, guys, he was saying in the name of Jesus. Watch the video. He's screaming in the name of Jesus and then saying hard things, yo. He's blasphemy. That's blasphemy, guys. Luke chapter 12, verse 5. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him which after he hath killed hath power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. You don't fear people around you. You're right, Charleston White, but fear God. You're taking his name in vain. He's going to throw you in the hell after. Psalms chapter 34, verse 9. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. They're, like you're fearing, you're scared, dog. You say when you're scared, you do, do the most. Everybody says that. I can't tell you how many people I met that say that. And then when it really goes down, it don't go that way. I'm telling you. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 12. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God, which fear before him. Fearing God is going to be what saves you. He's not scared of anything he's trying to say. So he's taking God's name in vain. He ain't scared of God either. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 12. Say ye not a confederacy to all them that whom his people shall say a confederacy, neither fear ye their fear, not, nor be afraid of them. Yo, I could have read you an olden time story and that would have perfectly fit. They didn't fear them. They stood up to him and they rocked them. You see what I'm saying? But he's living in fear. He's lying. Okay. Exodus 20, 20. And Moses said unto the people, fear not for God has come to prove you. And that is fear may be before your faces that ye sin not. So we're not, you're supposed to fear God. If you have no fear of God, that's bad. If you say, I don't care what God thinks. You're in trouble. He woke you up. He might not wake you up tomorrow. That's what I'm for real. Yo, people play around. Psalms chapter 53, verse five. There were they in great fear there where no fear was for God has scattered the bones of him that encampeth against thee. Thou hast put them to shame because God hath despised them. He despises you for what you're doing. You're willingly doing it. And then you blaspheme his name. You're brave. Numbers chapter 14, verse nine. Only rebel. Not ye against the Lord, neither fear ye the people of the land, for they are bread for us. Their defense is departed from them, and the Lord is with us. Fear them not. When the Lord is with you, who can be against you to fear? You have the, the ultimate, ultimo there is in this world with you. Guys, this guy is in trouble, man. Psalm chapter 22, verse 23. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him. And all ye... The seed of Jacob, glorify him and fear him. All ye, the seed of Israel. Yes, it's everybody. Those are the people saying they're chosen. So the Gentile and the chosen should fear God. Romans, Romans chapter 13, verse 7. Render therefore to all their dues. Tribute to whom tribute is due. Custom to whom custom. Fear to whom fear. Honor to whom honor. You got to give him his honor. If you want to. When you die, if you want to be in a place that isn't tormenting you for eternity, give him his honor while you're alive. Thank him. Cling to him right now while you're breathing. You'll regret it if you don't. When you close your eyes for the last time, you'll regret every moment. You would have not wanted to be alive. You wish you never lived. Guys, I'm telling you, don't play with this. I'm telling you this for a reason. Matthew chapter 10, verse 28. And fear not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him, which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Right there, Charleston White. You took his name in vain. If you do go and leave, if you get injured, even if you take China Mac out, you eventually are gonna die. We all are. When you go, because of your works here on, on this earth, not doing any from God, for God, you're in trouble either way, dog. 
That's everybody. It's all of us. Get this. He has hatred. Remember, he said he hates Asians. Let's talk about it. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 12. Hatred stirs up strife, but love covereth all sins. Galatians chapter 5, verse 20. Idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, uh, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies. Emulations is like you creating something and saying, I'm going to do, I'm going to serve this. Like in your imagination. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 17. Better is a dinner of herbs where love is than a stalled ox and hatred therewith. Would you want to be with an angry ox in the barn? You would not. You, everybody would run. Everybody be out. Y'all be running full speed, doing whatever you can. Psalms chapter 109, verse 3. They comp compass me about also with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. There are people who do things, wicked things for no reason. There's wickedness all over this world. You got to just pray for them. God is not mocked. He has an issue with that. Proverbs chapter 26, verse 26. Whose hatred is covered by deceit? His wickedness shall be shewed before the whole congregation. People that do evil in secret, they get exposed eventually. Or even worse, they don't. And they get treated how they treated people. And then they're crying, hurt, sad. They're going to get what they've done in their life in return. I know this very well from how I live my life and what I understand. When I was a youth, there's things I did and I got them back. And I was like, wow, you know, you learn that growing up. That's why you seek him at a young age because it comes to mind. I did these things I should have not done. I'm not going to do them. And you're you from your youth. Psalms chapter 139, verse 22. I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them the, mine enemies. You don't hate no one. He's literally telling people that he's trying to inspire you to hate Asians. Literally. Numbers chapter 35, verse 20. But if you trust him of hatred or hurl at him by laying of weight, that he die. Wow. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 18. He that hideth hatred with lying lips and he that uttereth a slander is a fool. God says everybody who does those things are fools. That's why I say just turn the other cheek and pray to him. Do not become a fool. You're in jeopardy being a fool. A fool is always in jeopardy because they're thinking foolish thoughts to do more foolish things. Psalm chapter 25, verse 19. Consider mine enemies, for they are many and they hate me with cruel hatred. People that want to be your enemy hate, but they're destroying their own soul because they're taking time away from them, giving time to God. It's an emergency. Just like that thing, man. It's an emergency for people to do this. Look at the news. Look at the amount of people literally dying and people are just null and void to it. No one sees the news. No one sees the death toll. Like, come on, man. It's for a reason. Psalms chapter 109 verse 5. And they have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. You should praise God when people are doing that because that means you're doing something that causes them to take on a spirit and enact in that spirit to try and deter you for no reason. They're doing evil and wickedness. We already read what wicked people get, whether they see it or not. Ezekiel chapter 25, verse 15. Thus saith the Lord God, because the Philistines have dealt by revenge and have taken revenge with a despiteful heart to destroy it for the old hatred. People try and use past hate. Oh, you know, like gang saying, oh, my daddy hate that person. That's why wickedness is in murder and gang life, because it's a revolving cycle that doesn't end. It keeps happening. It doesn't stop. So Charleston White, even if you do take him out, anyone that loves him is going to come for you eventually. Those people aren't going to forget that you did it. You're saying what you're going to do until they start trying to do it to you. Then it's going to be scary. Then you're what about your kids? You're not thinking. Hosea chapter nine, verse eight. The watchman of Ephraim was with my God, but the prophet is a snare of a fowler in all his ways in hatred in the house of his God. Yo, when you stand with God, people are going to hate you, but glory be to God because he's with you. He's not with them. If someone hates another person, is he with them? Who's with them? Satan's with them. So they're in constant danger. That's why you pray and you keep your peace, yo. It's hard, but you got to do it. Pray and keep your peace. When you have hate in your heart, you have Satan with you. Ecclesiastes chapter nine, verse six. Also their love. 
and their hatred and their envy is now perished. Neither have they any more of a portion forever in anything that is done under the sun. That is everybody who he wipes out. Nothing matters for you because he took you out. You're gone. So what matters for you? Because of your evil deeds, you're gone. That's what hatred leads you to. Hosea chapter nine, verse seven. Yo, real talk. The days of visitation are come. The days of recompense are come. Israel shall know it. The prophet is a fool. The spiritual man is mad for the multitude of thine iniquity and the great hatred. Yo, right there. What did somebody say in the comments yesterday when y'all saw it? They said, I'm spiritual. Well, the spiritual man is mad. That means you're crazed in your head. You say you're spiritual and you don't know Jesus. You're crazy. That's what he's saying. This is God's word. He's saying you whacked out. He's saying something's wrong with your head. This is God. He's saying something wrong with your head. You want to serve spirits, but not serve me. Because they're they're not the spirit. These spirits are of the devil. The spiritual man is mad for the multitude of thine iniquity. That means wrongdoings. So you're being led astray. And with the great hatred, he hates you because you don't serve him. So what's going to happen to you? You're with the devil. God don't like you. What happens to you? The devil wipes you out. That's why you got to stay prayed up and with Jesus Christ right there. You're mad at me, but I'm trying to help you save your soul. Second Samuel chapter 13, verse 15. Then Am Amnon hated her exceedingly so that the hatred wherewith he hated her was greater than the love wherewith he had loved her. And Amma said unto her, arise, be gone. That's the thing, yo. We got to stick to Christ. We got to put Christ in mind because he's going to say that to us. When you die and you think you're going to a glorious place and you see it from a distance, he's going to say, be gone and kick you down to hell. That's what I'm trying to tell you, yo. You got to know Christ. You got to. Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 11. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will even do according to thine anger and according to thine envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. And I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. He's saying, if you want to do evil against my word, I'm going to use your judgment, my righteous judgment on you from your judgment on the world and the evil things you've done as the same token to tell everybody this is what you don't do. And he's going to serve you up on a platter. Yo, that's why you got to stick with God. Ecclesiastes, that's scary. The almighty God that created you, serving you up to your enemy, saying, I have no use for you. That's terrible. Ecclesiastes chapter nine, verse one. For all this, I consider in my heart, even to declare all this, that the righteous and the wise in their works are in the hand of God. No man knoweth either love or hatred by all that is before them. You got to see with your eyes in front of you. You don't see, test the spirits. You don't test people's spirit to see what they're really about. You don't do that. You just accept what people say and what they want to say. And you, even if a person's being true, you can't tell it because you're wicked. You don't want, your heart's not there. You don't see it. You look at their works and you don't test the spirit like he tells you. What is their character about? Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 5, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end, everything, everybody, everything that's evil comes to an end. They're caught up in their sin and doing evil, wicked things to people that the end coming, they don't see it. The end is going to be what takes them out the picture and God's going to stand United over them, letting his word shine. God's going to win in the end. Test spirits, man. Do not let these spirits go. Let's go. Charleston White, you get a longer one. You've done all these things. This one's about the malice you hold in your heart towards Asians. Yo, oh, oh my goodness, yo. Yo, Charleston White, you got to change. You said it in the name of Jesus, trying to blaspheme him. You know about Jesus. Turn to him, yo. Fast. Ephesians chapter 4. Verse 31 to 32, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you and all malice, chal Charleston White, that's you. 32, and be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as the God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. Has, he's forgiven you and allowed you to live every single day you're doing this. 
You got to turn. You're old, man. You're too old for this. You're too old for this. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 1. A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. Dog, you're stirring up China Mac. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 16. A fool's wrath is presently known, but a prudent man covers shame. You're ashamed. You're ashamed. There's something that you have shame. You're doing all this to cover up because of embarrassment of you not going to speak to the kids because you got kicked out because the cops ain't want to help you. Now you still got to say you ain't run me off the net. You're so thirsty to prove a point. It's going to lead you down. As I'm telling y'all, as I'm telling you, Proverbs chapter 12, verse 16, a fool's wrath is presently known, but a prudent man covers shame. And then it goes on to say, hold on. Then it goes on to say, hold on. Let me click on this. This is crazy. It goes on to say, Psalms chapter 37, verse 8. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Nine, for evildoers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Dog, he's going to cut you off right now because you're alive. You don't see it because you're breathing. But he's ready to cut you off. Yo, this is crazy. I don't even like I didn't even want to see this of you. Like, this is not what I want to see of you, man. It's crazy, yo. It's getting more serious. I'm trying to tell you, yo. It's getting way more serious about how he feels, man. James chapter 1, uh, the first chapters, verse 19. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. 20. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. You're very angry, saying this stuff like you're chill, but you're, you're going at China Mac. Then you began to berate all the Asian people as a as a, a culture. You're mad. You're angry. Why are you so angry? Because he's Asian? And then you say you hate all Asians, dog. Are you crazy? Matthew chapter 7, verse 12. Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Let me get into that one so you can understand. Understand. Matthew chapter 7. Verse 9, we're going to start. Or what man is there of you, whom if his son asks bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would add men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter ye into... And at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth to unto life. And few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly, inwardly they are ravening wolves. That is what you are to those children, Charleston White. You want to teach children. Look at how you're talking. You can't teach a child. What you going to teach him? Do that to do what you're doing? To talk how you're doing? No parent backs that. You're literally doing the opposite of what you went out to do eventually, eventually even anyway. That's why God wouldn't allow you to talk to those kids. Because they would have been watching your videos thinking that what you're doing is cute. No. You got to stop, yo. It's getting far more serious than I even first saw. He's getting very serious with you. And he's not playing. Because you're trying to reach children. You're trying to reach kids. That would be. Do you know how devastating that would be? You would destroy a whole entire youth. Because you want to reach children with this wickedness. Man. Charleston White. You got to turn from wickedness yo. Then you saying you get fearful. No. Romans 3.18. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Let's talk about that real quick. Because you don't have no fear man. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are their ways. And the way of peace have they not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Now we know that what things soever the law saith is saved to them who are under the law. That every mouth 
may be stopped and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Turn, man. He just dealt, yo, that, there, that is the crux. There's so many things that describe you. Charleston White, yo. Stop, man. All right, sir.